naturally developed civilizations created ways of grouping and recording several of those marks using simpler symbols. How's that? For example, for the Egyptians, each one of those strokes was equivalent to one, because ancient farmers, as Egyptians, needed to develop a system which enabled them to have an accurate control of their goods. Besides, they were also traders, so they needed to know the quantities of the products they exchanged accurately. To avoid confusion and save up strokes, if they had 10 sheep, they used a special symbol. How are those things known at present, Jamie? Because these symbols have been found written on different places. For example, among the inscriptions found on the inside walls of the Karnak Temple, because Egyptians needed a picture for number one, another for ten, another one for a hundred, one for one thousand, another for ten thousand, and so on. So for big numbers, they had to use many other different symbols. As you can see, there are several ways to represent quantity. The numbers we use are called Arabic numbers. That's because numbers traveled around the world. In fact, it seems they were invented in India. Later, the Arabs, who were in contact with the Indians, learned these numbers and started to use them. It was a long journey. Sometime later, an Italian mathematician called Fibonacci studied them and made them famous in Europe in a book whose title was Liber Abaci. How did they reach America? Through the European colonizers. Does that mean that numbers traveled by ship as Columbus? That's right. Anyway, there were numbers in America before the Spanish arrived. Were there? Yes, there were. The Mayas, who live in the south of Mexico, had their own numbers. And the Incas, who lived where it is now Peru, also had their own system for counting, which in this case were colored strings or cords with several knots called quipus. How many different numbers? Are they still in use? No. When the Spanish conquered America, the civilization started to adopt the Spanish numerical system. And little by little, they left their own aside. The numbers we use were transmitted by the Arabs from the East to Europe. Why do we use them? Because they have a great advantage. The basic digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And with them, you can make combinations and form numbers as you want. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!